Hi, Carl here for Pro-Ev TV. I'm at NOB 2017 at the Black Magic stand talking to Richard Payne about the new Atom Television Studio. Okay, so Richard, tell me about this. This is the brand new uh, Black Magic Design Television Studio HD Pro. That's a title and a half, That's isn't it? That's right, it's a bit of a mouthful, <laughs> but there's rather a lot packed into this box. Yeah. So what this is, it's, you may have seen the Television Studio HD from Black Magic, which is a lovely little unit which is selling truckloads at the moment, um, which has four HDMI and four SDI inputs, and all the features we've come to expect from the Black Magic ATEM range, including DVE, so we can use picture in picture and fly pictures in and out as well. So it uses, it can use titles from Photoshop on a laptop connected to it, so if you know how to use Photoshop, you can do some fantastic titles on this, but, but the new television studios have also got non-volatile memory, which means you, you've got 20 places you can store stills, lower thirds or titles onto this and bring them up, uh, you, can, you can load them from this interface here. So previous items, there was a, a control panel for them which, which cost about £4,000, which is obviously very high end, but uh, everybody thought, bit of a shame to spend that much when the items themselves are such good value for money. But in real production, you do really want buttons. You want buttons, you want a T-bar, so that you can bring things in in a sort of more intuitive way. If people are singing, if you've got a live event happening in front of you, you know, sometimes using a touchpad on a, uh, an iPad or using a mouse and keyboard just isn't good enough for that sort of live environment. And that's where a panel like this comes in. So they built the Television Studio HD into this panel here and called it the Television Studio HD Pro. It's very clever stuff. So what can this do, what are the main differences between this and thing, other than of course the physical differences stuff? So as well as being able to physically switch and cut and, and uh, use, use a control panel like this, we've also got an audio mixer, a proper audio mixer built in. So we're able to adjust the level on each of these individual sources and you can see the AFV here, so that's audio follows video. So we can either, whenever you cut it will automatically cut to the relevant audio from that source or if we don't have that, we can select whichever audio channels and mix, mix individual channels like this as well. So fully featured audio mixing. In addition to this, we have the controls up here, which give us CCU control, camera control over any of the Blackmagic cameras. So we can control the, the, um, the studio camera range from Blackmagic or the Ursa Mini Pro or the Blackmagic Ursa using using this. So it uses uh, SDI input into the camera, so there's an auxiliary SDI output, you have that going into the camera, and not only do you get the ability to see the video signal coming from the source, so a cameraman can see what the other cameramen are doing, but also all the, div all the control of the camera, all the colorometry, uh, if you've got auto focus, zoom and iris, all that can be controlled here from the mixer. And if we want to change the colorometry of the image, as you can see it's changing down here, we can we can live tint to match our cameras very, very quickly. We've got saturation, we've got wire adjust, level adjust, and we can have gamma lift. All the standard Da Vinci color correction is built into this unit. Really remarkable for the price point. That is very, very powerful. I mean, talking about price point, so price and availability? It's about, going to be about £2,000. Mm. The availability, we're expecting them within the next month. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem.